Ronan Erudan is the head of the the head of uh, uh, well, it's the blue guy with a sword. Ronan is a very popular character in Grand Chase, and it is not only because he was one of the first characters to be released in the game. He's a really good character, if not perfect, and in this video you will see why. The Blue Magic Knight is a great option if you are thinking of maining him or just using him. He also has a very clear identity not only because of his color, but the feature that transcends all of his classes, Edudon Sword. While Sigar has Rage and Jin has Burning, Ronan has a way more dynamic and useful mechanic which is his sword. He can manifest a big effing sword that gives him new attack patterns and a new skill kit. He can shoot projectiles in all directions with his glaive. He can recover the party HP and MP globally while making his teammates invulnerable. And increase his DPS around him. In the next part of the video, every class will be rated according to its performance in PvE. Support, Damage, AoE and Mobility will be the main points to be analyzed. Spell Knight has decent damage and decent AoE. He also has some CC skills that can help out your party in difficult situations. Although this class is decent at damage, he used to shine the most at buffs, especially Holy Bless which is stackable and transferable among Ronan's classes if you are using the weapon change key. Even if it is not bad, it used to be way better. This is a pure DPS class, differing with the Spell Knight. It also is the most mobile class of Ronan. You can move forward, upward and downward, dealing good damage and gaining a healthy amount of MP in the process. It's also a very safe class when it comes to attacking while moving. In terms of DPS, it has great damage. Moreover, his Erudon Sword ability can make him hit forward, backwards and upward while being in a safe spot. AoE is what this class is better at. He can delete hordes of monsters with his 3rd and 4th bar. However, this class doesn't have any support skill. Bear that in mind if you want to help your team, because Dragon Knight won't be useful in that regard. Aegis Knight is a well-rounded class. It has one shots, good AoE, good damage, super armor buffs, HP and MP regen, e vulnerability, defense decrease and damage block. It is one of the most versatile classes when it comes to supporting your team and dealing damage at the same time. Ronan's last class has good damage and different combo paths, in comparison to other classes. It also has useful tools that can move and gather enemies at a desirable spot. This class also has great AoE, great burst, zoning attacks, invulnerability. Taking a look at his classes, you can choose what you are after. Damage, supporting skills or clear speed. Then you can match his features by the use of dual wielding. Personally, I recommend using third job or first job as your second weapon. In this way, you will always have supporting tools at your disposal. 
and it's even better if you are playing with a party. Plus, Ronan's shared skills increase his chances of survival, DPS, and supportive skills. Out of all of these features, his most noticeable shared skill is his Rune Shield, which can block enemies' attack and block enemies' path. Given this, every class will have an additional plus one in the support category. Overall, Ronan has everything a character would want. Although other characters may overpass him in terms of damage, Ronan can still outclass them with all his kit. He's perfect for the early, mid and late game. Do you agree with the rating? Do you main Ronan or are you looking forward to doing so? Remember to stay hydrated and see you in the next video!